All right, guys, awesome. We're going to duplicate. This will be kind of part two of that video we were watching, Classroom Suzuki. And you saw my little cartoonish uh, diagram here that I showed you to basically duplicate what Suzuki has come up with. we got to remember, we're going to take this headlight on high beam, and we're going to shove 5 amps through this. We're going to need a battery source. Uh, we got a couple different ways we can do this. You guys have all seen in your toolkits that you guys have this uh, remote start. We don't want to just start hooking stuff up. We want to be controllable in what we're able to do. And that's why instead of using a battery and, uh, and a remote start, we can use a jump pack because we have the on-off switch. Make sense? So we could go ahead and wire this whole thing up, just clamp onto our, our uh, leads right here off our battery pack and duplicate the system. So following along in our diagram here, it says that what we're going to do is we're going to take the, uh, a negative from the uh, battery pack and we're going to apply it to one coil of the stator. Now instead of unpinning this, what I'm going to do is I took some brand new clips out of our terminal kit. You guys all remember that from other videos in class, right? I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to insert these now so that I have a better place to clamp onto. Make sense? That one's in pretty bad shape. I'm going to try as much as possible to spread those out. So Ryan's going to help me out here. Now, did you guys notice, compared to the Suzuki video, what's the one thing that I'm doing different? Anybody notice? Uh, the fuse. Fuse. What, I heard it. The fuse. I'm fusing one of my sides in case I screw up. If we don't have a fuse on there and we screw something up, what are we going to cause? <coughs> a direct short, okay? So... Uh, it, it doesn't matter what we do here, but I'm going to take and use the fuse on the on the hot side. So we know that we're going to go like this. And do you notice how I put the rags down? Actually, I should just have you do it. Go that to the positive battery cable there. Just clamp on the metal. You had it. There you go. Perfect. Metal to metal, right? So I'll just set this for here right now. Okay. And we got the rags on the bench so that we don't have a, a direct short. So now let's take another jumper. And what I'm going to do is use these uh, uh, battery cables here. And actually, I got one more small one. This will work. It doesn't have to be a super heavy gauge because we're not going to be on here all day. So he's going to go to the negative of the jump pack. Well, let's touch the metal. And we're going to go to one lead of the actual stator. Now, we don't know if the stator is good, by the way. This came off. Uh, one of the bikes where I found that uh, it was, it was I just found it yesterday laying under a bench so we didn't put back on a bike. Okay, perfect. That one's there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hook up to one of the leads on the headlight. Now to know that this headlight works, we went ahead and actually tested it already. You can just jump it as bright as, bright as hell there. Try and turn it away from your face there. So it works good. Now we're going to, he's going to hook up to any other lead, and I'd say just take the next one over. And I'm going to hook up to the jump pack here. Okay. Now we are off. Now, since we're not going off the frame, we're going through a coil. When we turn this on, what should happen? Right. Okay. Now, we also have to assume that our we want to make sure our fuse is good. Hey, look at that. Okay. So now what Ryan will do is switch to the other lead. Okay. We do the same test. It lights. Okay. So now the final test is... We're going to stay attached here, and we're going to take our ground wire. If you flip your, if you flip your uh, lap sheet over to the back, we weave our positive hooked up. We come off the stator now, and now we're going to touch the frame or the core of it, and we should, we got to be on here, and we should not light. So we know that we're good. Pretty cool? So if this does light right now, yes, we bet. Now, what, wouldn't you agree with me that you should never just test in one spot? Yeah. So let's try some different spots here. Did you have to check all three legs? Too? No, because the all, they all had continuity to each other, remember? We just tested all three of those. They're all good. So if one's bad, they're, it's all bad. Yeah, then the whole thing's bad. Test the inside ones. Okay? We got nothing. Okay? Now, to prove a point that our system, ha that our test here hasn't been altered, hook it back up to one of those leads. Go to the middle one this time. It lights on. Make sense? So what we're doing is we're shoving that amperage through there. We have a good protected circuit. We're using a tool where we have a remote switch, and life is good. If we want to duplicate this over on a battery, all we'd have to do is simply switch to our battery connections. We would take it and wire in a, a remote start in between. So I'll go ahead and go one side of a remote start here. We need to switch to the battery. 
Okay. Now we're doing the same things. All about controlling. Think about it. Power in, power out. That's everything that we're doing. On this one, try the ground again. Go from here to the ground. Okay, anywhere. We could just hold this on and you could try random places or whatnot and see if it works. Makes sense? Now here's the cool thing about this test. We can do this test on the motorcycle. Okay, we don't have to um, actually, uh, we don't have to uh, um, have it off the bike. Matter of fact, let's just do, well, any questions about this? You guys all feel confident about this? You see the two different ways to do it and you guys can duplicate that with your lab sheet? Everybody, no questions? Okay, we'll call that one.